This is the August 2023 video edition of the Iowa General Fund Monthly Revenue Memo. I am Eric Richardson, Fiscal Analyst for the Iowa Legislative Services Agency, the nonpartisan support agency of the Iowa Legislature. This video will cover Iowa net general fund revenue for cash fiscal year 2024 through September 5th. And I will also review how final fiscal year 2023 net revenue is shaping up as the books on that year move towards closure later in the month of September. Cash fiscal year 2024 Iowa net general fund revenue decreased $134 million through September 5th when compared to the same period last year, a percentage decrease of just under 9%. The low growth rate was driven primarily by a decrease in multiple tax suspense receipts and a balance of negative $125 million in the suspense account to begin the fiscal year as receipts received on June 30th, 2023 were distributed the first business day of the fiscal year. Individual income tax collections have also decreased by 10% thus far in FY 2024. On the positive side, sales and use taxes and corporate income tax deposits have increased since July 1. However, sales tax changes starting July 1, 2022, moved the due date for sales tax to a once a month on the last day of the month. These changes may have created variability in year-over-year -year comparisons between FY 2023 and FY 2024, which is not expected to be a factor in future fiscal years. State accounting for fiscal year 2023 is winding down and will be complete by the end of September. At the June 30th conclusion of the cash year, gross general fund revenue was $193 million above projections. Sales and use tax produced the majority of the excess. An $80 million balance in the suspense account included in this table under other taxes also contributed significantly. The end of August means tax refund amounts are final for fiscal year 2023. Tax refunds for the fiscal year finished $135 million higher than the March REC refund projection, and a higher level of refunds translates to a reduction in net revenue for fiscal year 2023. This next table shows the two known items, cashier receipts and tax refunds, along with the three remaining net revenue unknowns. Combined, the two known items represent $58 million in net revenue above the March projections. While fiscal year 2023 ended June 30th and refunds processed and charged to FY 2023 ended August 31st, some transactions related to fiscal year 2023 will continue to be processed in September, and at this time, three areas of accounting transactions remain open. First, the transfer out of the sixth cent of sales tax that Iowa devotes to local school district infrastructure has one more adjusting transaction that will occur before this item is final. For fiscal year 2023, the transfers are budgeted to remove a total of $750 million from net general fund revenue. Through the end of August, school infrastructure transfers totaled $708 million. The amount of the final fiscal year 2023 transfer that will be made in September is not predictable. During the past 10 years, the September transfer has averaged about $6 million, but the amount has ranged over those years from a negative transfer of $8 million for FY 2017 to FY 2021's positive transfer of almost $37 million. Second, accrued revenue, meaning revenue that arrives after June 30th, but is properly associated with economic and tax activity that occurred during FY 2023, needs to be calculated and deposits made in July and August split between FY 2023 and FY 2024. For FY 2023, this adjustment is budgeted to add $145 million to final revenue. Finally, transfer revenue is projected to total $129 million for the fiscal year, with lottery proceeds making up the bulk of this amount. To summarize, cash fiscal year 2024 net revenue through September 5th decreased at a nearly negative 9%, with sales and use tax and corporate tax growth positive while income tax and the tax expense account weighed on year-to-date growth. Towards the end of September, the state will close the books on fiscal year 2023 and distribute the July and August revenue between that fiscal year and fiscal year 2024. Final adjustments to the school infrastructure and transfer amounts are also expected later in the month. Once the accounting closure process is complete, we will have the final results for fiscal year 2023. Given that higher cash receipts and higher refunds currently put the net revenue excess at near $60 million, it is probable that fiscal year 2023 revenue will end close to projections. Thank you very much for your time and interest in Iowa general fund revenue. Goodbye. 
and please check out the next monthly video memo that will be posted in early October. For that video, I will review final fiscal year 2023 net revenue, and we will have the first look at fiscal year 2024 on a fiscal year basis.